The very end of the month or very beginning of the month is the perfect time to check in with yourself, celebrate all the wins that you had in the past few weeks, and really set yourself up for success in the month ahead. So today I'm going to share with you my little monthly reset routine. We'll cover everything from general life admin tasks to goal setting to how I track everything, basically just how I get my whole life in order. So hopefully you can find something in this video that can help you in your life too. Let's begin. My favorite way to reset is cleaning and tidying my physical space. I feel that when my surroundings are clean and relatively clutter-free, I tend to think more clearly and feel a greater sense of peace and calm. So I started out by getting the dishes done and cleaning my room, folding and putting away clothes, and making sure everything is in its place. If you're familiar with my channel at all, you already know I'm on a major decluttering and minimalism journey, so decluttering is something I work on regularly, but if decluttering is not something that's usually top of mind for you, the end or beginning of a new month is a great time to go through some of your items and make sure you're only keeping things you genuinely need or value. Another great thing to do during this time is reflect on your overall health and wellness. Unfortunately, the busier we get, this is usually the first thing to go, but I encourage you to really prioritize this and create structures that make it easier to make healthy meals throughout the week and to find time for intentional movement or exercise. Here is my grocery haul. I actually tried a new local grocery store today and I got all of this for less than $65, which is pretty incredible because I also got a ton of organic produce and high quality protein sources like wild caught salmon, organic cheese, and organic hummus. One of my favorite time-saving hacks is to grocery shop on Sundays and wash all my produce and prep any of the veggies or meats that I can as soon as I get home from the grocery store so that I don't even have time to think about it before it's already done and I have fresh, healthy snack foods and meals completely or nearly ready to go whenever I want them throughout the week. So I have actually started a new manner of tracking this month, which is bullet journaling. I have always been a fan of journaling. I feel like I've journaled since probably my oldest ones are like when I first started learning how to write, but I've never bullet journaled. And I have really used this this month as a tracker for everything. In the past, I typically would do digital trackers. So I've used things like Notion or Google Sheets, which are also great options that you can look into. There's tons of free templates out there or you can create your own. But this month I decided I wanted to try something new and I've been trying to force myself recently to stay off of my phone and just generally trying to find things where I'm away from screens. So I was like, I'm gonna take this opportunity for something that I find a lot of enjoyment in, which is creating goals and tracking goals and all of that stuff, and put it in a way that allows me to be creative and a different type of activity where I'm not staring at a screen. I am not gonna lie, I had the best time with this. So here is my September spread. So this is how I started the month. I was like very intimidated at first to have to try to like draw. I am just a major perfectionist. And so for me, the thought of seeing these beautiful um, spreads and things that I see on Pinterest, I was like, I would love to recreate that, but I don't think I'm very good of an artist and I've never really tried any of that stuff. So I was just already intimidated by it because of course I wanted it to be perfect, but this was actually a really good exercise for me in kind of trying to continue to break through that perfectionism. But it was really good for me because I did make some mistakes in here and Normally that would kill me, but <laughs> I really just accepted it for what it was and was actually pretty proud of myself for like, I'm actually really happy with how some of these little drawings and doodles and stuff came out because like I said, I'm not really like, I never really considered myself an artist or anything, but I'm definitely going to continue working on it because I found a lot of enjoyment in it this month and I will definitely be doing this for the month of October. I 
created the month and then I created some goals for the month and I love to create goals in different categories. So I did YouTube as a goal. That's like a major hobby of mine. Um, reading five books. I also am a big reader and this is actually a pretty low month for me, but I knew I was going to be very busy. So I kept it reasonable at five books. Uh, stick to an exercise routine. Obviously that's health and then staying under budget and packing lunch more often are both kind of more within the financial goal aspect. And I created a reading log, which was really fun. And I found out I don't know how to draw stars apparently. Um, <laughs> also created a YouTube channel page with some goals and video ideas for the channel. And I also created an exercise spread. So I had how many steps that I did. So my step counter, and I used that as like a graph style. And then I also did an exercise and movement tracker and just created a key for all the different kinds of movement that I've been doing. And I've been tracking that in there. I also have done this sleep tracker and dream log. And that has actually been so cool. I love the idea of a dream log and I will definitely be keeping this in the October spread. Um, it was also really good to see how well I've been doing sleeping. Um, I've been trying really hard to make sure that I always get my eight hours and I did was really successful with that this month. I also have a music and podcast playlist spread and this just has some of the music I'm obsessed with right now and my favorite podcast I listened to this month. Then I also have a special little treat section, which is those things that I technically didn't really need. And so I have the price and the item listed there. I also created a budget tracker this month in here. I do religiously still use my Money with Katie uh, budget planner. I absolutely love it. It works perfect for me and I love that it auto populates a bunch of numbers for you and also gives you graphs and other fun things like that that I actually love. So I of course I'm still using that but I did love the idea of keeping it in my bullet journal as well. Final page was the September review where I put all of the goals for the month and checked off the ones that I achieved, which I did achieve all of them. I also included notable events and memories for the month. And I don't have one of those sticker printers, or I even found out that you can just buy sticker paper that can go in your regular printer. So I might do that because I do love stickers and like photos from that month throughout the journal. So I think that I will be investing in something like that or trying to figure out a way to make that work for me because I tried doing a little one here. <laughs> I have a label printer that I use for my Poshmark orders and this obviously is not meant for color printing or anything like that. It's just a thermal label printer. So I still made it work and it printed in black and white and it kind of worked out actually for the aesthetic of this, but uh, I'm looking into possibly doing something like I said for the future. That is basically how I organize my life. I love having monthly resets, weekly resets. I feel like it's just a way to create better intention in your life and make sure that you are doing the things that you want to be doing, focusing on the things that you want to be focusing on in order to achieve all of those goals that you have for yourself and just to live a happier, healthier life. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Leah and I make content on lifestyle, money, minimalism. If you enjoyed this video or found anything that you will be using in your next monthly reset, please let me know in the comments and leave a like for me pretty please because the YouTube algorithm just loves that and it will really help out my small channel. Thank you so much and have a great next month.